Istanbul, where I'm from, has 15 million inhabitants, up from just 1.7 million in the 1950s. And what has grown much faster than its population? It is its thirst for energy. So this is a pattern we have seen not just in Turkey, but around the globe over the last century. I wonder if any one of you can guess where this was in 1980s. Any guesses? This was Shanghai with a population of 4 million. Currently over 35 million is one of the world's most populated cities. So as we densify the population, we are left with no option but to build upwards to fit more and more people into the same area of land. And on top of this, this growing population is predicted to uh, be concentrated around the hot, sun-rich geographical areas, bringing a huge demand for energy, mainly for cooling. So the first question comes to my mind, isn't just how are we going to make our city smarter, but how are we going to keep these lights on? Last year, solar energy was the fastest growing installed renewable energy source on the planet, driven by silicon technology. Silicon can absorb light from visible to near-infrared region, which makes it opaque, as you see here. And it also makes it efficient, but puts some limitations to its usage in the future. So have a quick internet search for the cities of the future. What you will find is the buildings with freedom of design filled with glass to let the daylight in. A move towards responsive cities and a biological hive live and work all together. So we have to power up this sustainable glass-filled environment, but how? With transparent solar windows. A new form of solar technology is capable of generating electricity from non-visible light. What do I mean by this? So this is the solar spectrum and the part that human eye can detect. It's pretty narrow, isn't it? With the new materials that are actually non-silicon at KAUST over the years, we developed a new solar panel that can selectively absorb the infrared portion of the light and leave the visible part undetectable, which is transparent to human eye. So utilizing this property, we are able to generate electricity while leaving the windows transparent to human eye, unlike silicon. So the same infrared part is also essentially responsible for the heat enters to our buildings, which make it hot from the outside. So absorbing this infrared light would reduce the demand for cooling and also means that this technology can be seamlessly integrated into building products such as double glazed windows. This would allow a complete building design freedom and also a truly integrated photovoltaic product turning our buildings into beautiful power stations. So what is the impact of this technology? The first is in its dual use for electricity generation and energy saving. Using this technology, we can reduce the energy demand of a building up to 30% without building compromise. And also it would increase the wellness, satisfaction and productivity of the workers and employees, which will bring huge returns for commercial buildings. So when we generate electricity, we still let at least 70% of the light in, which is required for us humans to stay healthy and happy. But the same light is also responsible for plants to grow, which opens up a huge new potential market, which is agriculture. We always had to choose between our food, and fuel. And then remember, I recall an old age problem. Should we use our land to grow uh, wood for energy to burn or for crops to eat later on? So this uh, trade-off continues to appear in the current debate still going on on the efficiency of biofuel production. So our technology can let all the essential light for the plant growth. So if we coat the roof of our greenhouses with this technology, for the first time, we are able to generate simultaneously electricity and allow plant growth within the same area of land. So in making our cities smarter and smarter in the era of digitalization, we should and must focus on the renewable power sources that's for the good of humankind and also climate change mitigation. And I believe in this respect, our oldest green energy resources can power our newest innovations and future cities. Then next time you see a piece of glass or look out of a window, think to yourself, why this is still not generating electricity? We have the technology, let's not wait for tomorrow and build our sustainable future cities today together. Thank you.